our brokenness should drive us to seek the Lord for salvation and take refuge in Him. Pastor Todd here with a devotional for February 12th. Until you realize that you're broken beyond your own ability to fix, you will not cry out to God for salvation from your sin. As long as you think that your own goodness or works will get your life put back together, you'll not see yourself as a poor man or woman crying out to God to save you. The quicker we realize that we have nothing impressive to bring before God other than our longing to surrender, the quicker we will find God's best for us. As God opens our eyes to the seriousness of our sin, may it drive us to the cross. Although David may have hid in a cave from Saul and from the Philistines, in his heart he was hiding in God as his refuge. Are you? Have you come to the place of feeling broken and crushed by your sin so that you've cried out to God to save you through Jesus and His shed blood? Vance Havner wrote, God uses broken things. It takes broken soil to produce a crop. Broken clouds to give rain, broken grain to give bread, broken bread to give strength. It is a broken alabaster box that gives forth perfume. It is Peter weeping bitterly who returns to greater power than ever. Are you broken? Do not fret. It may be God's preparation for greater things.